Yeah, we back. Ja. Los reyes del perreo. Nosotros somos el dúo sobrenatural. La A y la F, tú sabes. Entra al cuarto. Se ve el volumen al radio. Que nadie se entere de lo que vamos a hacer. Bienvenidos, mi gente. It's your girl, Nikki Lopez, here on Café con Sexo, live at Galay. This is the only, from what I know, coffee and sex morning show on the YouTube channel right now. And if you find another one, let me know, and then I'll retract my statement. <laughs> it's been a while. We started this out a few months, oh, well, a couple months ago. We did our first episode, and I was like, we're going to do it every week. And then life got in the way, you know? That stuff happens all the time, <laughs> but we're at it again. It's New Year. It's 2014. We're going to try to post episodes up at least every two weeks. We're going to give ourselves some leeway. We're going to do it at least every two weeks. Two so weeks. every two weeks. Every two weeks, Friday morning, grab your cup of coffee. We'll have a little time for a Café con Sexo. All right? So follow us on Twitter at Café con Sexo. Like us on Facebook at Café con Sexo. So today's episode, I have these lovely, beautiful people right next to me who are going to introduce themselves, talk a little bit about who they are, what they do at Galay, or elsewhere. All right? So you know me. I'm Nikki Lopez. I'm your host. I'm one of the youth coordinators here at Galay, and we'll go this way. So I'm Naima Sanchez. I am the co-coordinator of the Trans Health Information Project, and I'm an HIV tester with Galay. Mm -hmm. awesome. My name is Sergio, a.k.a. Simo, and I'm an HIV tester and counselor here at Galay. I'm Miana Brooks, and I'm a freelance makeup artist and frequent volunteer of Galay. And Miana definitely is one of our Galay family members here. Si. You can always find her around, so thank you all for joining us today. Mm -hmm. So for today's show, it's the winter time. The United States was hit with the polar vortex, you, you good? You, you dropped your coffee there. No. <laughs> kind of almost a lot. Um, the United States was hit with the polar vortex. It was cold. Fucking cold. Freezing. So cold. So cold. And one of the things that came up a lot is how to stay warm and things that you could do to stay warm. <clears throat> and what was frequenting the airways for a while was sex. What happens to sex? In the winter time, mm -hmm. you know, people have an idea that people tend to have more sex during the winter because mm -hmm. they want to stay warm or they're like locked up in their house and there's nothing else to do. So that's why you have see like all the babies being born in October. Yes. Right. I do notice there are a lot of or, Libras. Act like y'all know. I'm a Libra. There are a lot of Libras. <laughs> there are a lot of Libras. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm a Scorpio. Well, well that's that, what that's that's the Yeah, that, that. That speaks for itself. That's, I mean, <laughs> that's also, you know, wintertime, January, February. I could see it, February, mm. right? Did you just stick your tongue out? Anyway. Mm. <laughs> but what folks may not realize is a lot of folks tend not to have sex during the winter, mm. which was really surprising to me because I thought the same thing. Like, yeah, everybody's holed up. They have cabin fever. You just got to let loose and let it go. But according to this article that I printed out from Men's Health Magazine, Men's Health? It's been in a lot of other magazines as well. Was having your hottest sex ever this weekend. And yes, the different Lord. problems that come up. So they narrowed it down to three different problems, okay? The first problem that they came up was the hibernation instinct, all right? And they say here that technically our bodies are biologically programmed to lose sex drive in the winter. Did this happen to y'all? Did y'all lose no, sex drive in the winter? No? Not at all. Oh, I'm not nope. having sex. Full steam at ahead. All this whole winter. It's just too cold for me. I just want to get in the house <clears throat> and get in the bed. Yeah, I mean, with my pillows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're having sex with your pillows? <laughs> well, hey. I'm not having sex at all. We don't yuck anybody from here. That's yeah, for yeah. Sure. Now, don't get, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I say I have sex full steam ahead. I have sex. It does slow down in the winter time. Like in the winter time, I do not be ready to get out them damn sheets, break a sweat, try, trying to slay somebody, okay? Mm -hmm. I just be chilling uh, underneath my sheets. Maybe yeah. later on. So maybe the sex is a little milder during the winter? See, the winter, when the sun comes out, it's better. Okay. When it gets... It's just too I cool. I don't know, because um, I feel like in the winter, I have more tolerance for more sex. Hmm. And the summer is where it dies down for me because it's too fucking hot to be hot. Mm -mm. 
Like, I don't got time to roll around in the hay with nobody. <laughs> no, I mean, I agree with you. Cause I mean, like, I'm, sweaty, I'm more, I'm more prone to do it, like, what? in public no. during the uh, yes. summer. I'm sorry, but sex in the summertime is sexy. I love no, sweaty. No, no, no. Yes. Sweaty. Those, those, sex is I'm saying sex. it died down for me because of the fact that I'm usually in between well, she actually, partner. she hibernates in the summertime. There you go. And parties during the winter. She got, I, she got the opposite house. No, don't get me wrong. I mean, I this past summer, I don't think I did not have sex, but winter time is also like usually right before my birthday. That's when it dies down. But I'm, I'm more into it. Like if I can get someone to even come sleep with me. Then I'm more into it in oh the winter. Gosh, wow. Pull out the black book, people. Pull out, pull out the black book. Okay, I'm oh, I'm ready and willing and able <laughs> and single. Okay. And, uh, clearly, the show today turned into a dating website, so y'all can find our information. No, so one of the things that the article said was our hibernation instinct. So technically, our bodies. Not even mentioned it earlier. You want to go in and you want to get under those sheets and you want to sleep. Mm. Technically, the research yes, studies at the University of Tasmania said that hibernation causes metabolisms to slow and sex drives to wane and the calorie load to sleep more, okay? Mm. Wow. So technically, our bodies have evolved over time that when the winter time comes, we, wanna, we want to hibernate. We want to just sleep. And so, which is, I found it really interesting. I did not know that. And it made sense. So, I dropped my paper. It's all good. The solution that they came up with is to trick your body. We mentioned summertime here. Is to trick your body into thinking it's still summer by investing in blue light bulbs. Ooh. I've never seen blue light bulbs. I've seen red light bulbs. Um, red lit room. I've seen some blue light Now, they're talking about fluorescent blue light bulbs, not no crazy like club blue. Oh no. Like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, my, oh God. my God. But, uh -huh. So they're talking about more the fluorescent blue light bulbs. I actually have a lighter blue light bulb in my bathroom currently. Mm -hmm. And I notice that I tend to like it a lot more than just mm -hmm. like regular light bulbs, mm -hmm. definitely. Well, I know that um, I had, it's similar because I know when I had the purple light bulb plugged in, I felt more envy. And I was gonna say, is the light bulb <laughs> a heat a heat bulb like when we put it's, it in for the reptiles? Kind like of heat lamp bulb thing. No, it's more. It's like or tricking it your body. Color, like let I me mean, like blue color. Like so okay, I'm always in the heat. article. Fuck it. It's just a simple. <laughs> it's just a simple blue light. So it's not a heat light bulb. It's just the 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 filter of the light itself is blue. Mm -hmm. And basically, I guess what it does here is that it tricks or resets the body's circadian rhythms which is our rhythms that make us sleep by into thinking our room is in an icy glow versus like where the dark to to the it's yeah. dark and dim which Marvel. what happens it's dark and dim in your house it's also hot you're under the covers you want to go to sleep so the icy glow kind of creates this effect that your body resets its rhythms and then you <clears throat> tend to feel a little more awake yeah, yeah. No, like I was telling you earlier, I know plenty of people that sit directly underneath that blue light because they get really depressed in the morning <coughs> because yes. of the dark. Yes. Seasonal, what is it? Seasonal depression? Yeah. Some, yeah. That happens happens a lot to folks. And something else they said is don't try to cheer yourself up with a drink. So if you, you hear that? Come if on, you are depressed, don't do not cheer it. yourself up <laughs> with liquor. I'm a recovering alcoholic. No drinks will make you cheery. <laughs> no, um, it the, is what's the, the seasonal depression? Well, that? seasonal depression is, it happens to a lot of folks when, like, it's wintertime or it's darker outside that folks get, you know, their well, mood uh, gets affected by seasonal depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the alcohol, they say that it, drinking alcohol affects your body's master clock. And so it disrupts your energy. That, those red wines that you want to be drinking by the fireplace, yeah, you can drink them, but you don't, you don't fall asleep next to them. Oh, so that's yeah. why I went home last night and passed out. Basically. Right. Okay. Problem With number two. From downstairs. Problem number two. <laughs> <laughs> Problem number two. All right. The cold weather. It's a must that the cold weather affects our sex drives. It does. They say that for both men and women, lower body temperatures dampen arousal. So... If your body is colder, you're not going to be feeling, which is why it makes sense in the summertime, a lot of folks like to have sex because you're just hot and bothered all the time. Always. 
and pounding. And baby. with men, <clears throat> most men will notice that when they get cold, their penises will shrink. Yeah. Mi gente, are you listening? Well, are you when you are cold, hold up, your hold pinga up. will I, shrink. I, I want y'all men to stop blaming the cold and the water, okay? If you got a small dick, you got a small dick. Okay, true, true that. You sh you should love whatever parts of your body. Love what you but got. I'm a size queen, I admit it. <laughs> <laughs> but it happens, it happens, it happens in the cold time that it will it will shrink it. So another thing is a solution for that obviously is an excuse to take someone else's clothes off. Ooh. So nothing keeps you up faster than someone body. else's body heat. Body so skin heat, to skin amen. contact, body heat, and Give also skin to skin boost the Give level of oxycontin. The oxytin. How do you pronounce it? <laughs> Oxycontin? Oxycontin is a drug. Oh. Oxytocin. Well, we that, uh, body there we go. For body heat. Yes. Oxytocin. It's, it's, this is immigrant moment number five for me. It's all good. So, it's a women's feel-good hormone. So, it acts as an aphrodisiac. Do so, they sell that at the pharmacy? I don't know if they sell it at the pharmacy. Because I but think I'm sure I with, I think it, you know, I think it produces. So, problem number two. Cold weather will affect your sex drive and your libido. According to the study, cold weather dulls sexual sensations, lower body temperatures, dampen arousal for both men and women. Right? It said if your skin is warmer, it's more sensitive. So this goes back to our point mm -hmm. that in the summertime, yes. the sex drive is up because your skin is hot, hot, hot. Hot. Right? Sensitive. Hot. And hot. hot. And also notice, too, hot. in the cold weather, it is true, most men will notice that when they get cold, their penises will shrink. I'm sorry. It happens. I go. Sucks to be you. It happens. It happens. Dito. Dito. <laughs> so, the solution, okay? It's a great excuse to take somebody's clothes off, right? Skin to skin contact, body heat gets, skin skin. gets the body. Um, oh, I don't think we all ever need just that reason. <laughs> I mean, true. Some people might take need people's clothes some off. Some people might need like, a little more reason. Who oh, needs a reason? Yeah. Like, oh, you're cold. Apparently. Get, let's get naked and cuddle. I mean, but see, that's the thing, though. When I'm cold, I'm like, the last thing I want to do is take off my clothes. But I guess, you know, and have it set. That's when you wear a dress and you just lift every... Oh, never mind. That's too much. You just see me wearing a dress? Yeah. True. I mean, sometimes I would, like, put on layers and, like, get underneath the freeze up. And then sometimes I'll just strip onto my drawers and get underneath the blanket and pull the cover underneath my feet. It has to be underneath your feet. You cannot have that freeze all over the bed shit and be all cute. No, pull that drawer underneath your feet. Bundle down and you'll be So, fine. for folks that don't know, we're going to do a little Puerto Rican translation. What I want, frisa is the sheet, okay? The blanket. So, it's up. also known as frisa. a sabana. Don't feel bad because I'm lost too. I'm Puerto yeah, Rican I, know and some I don't know. I know some of y'all out there were like, what is a frisa, okay? okay? So, <laughs> don't forget something else. And this is very interesting. It says, don't forget to tell her to keep her socks on. If you're having sex with women, Apparently, women are 30% more likely to orgasm if they keep their feet warm. I don't know how many of us have have had sex with our socks. And I tend to, like, want to take my socks off because then I'm, like, I'm I'm butt naked, but I have my socks on. Yeah, typically I have sex without my socks on, but I love, love keeping my socks on while I'm having sex. Wow. I just It's just a thing. I just love it. Not, not, that, not that my feet are ugly because my feet are clean. I mean, they're great. But uh, I make socks. I like to keep my socks on all the time. Wait a minute, wait a minute. My wait, socks wait, wait. is off, and they are in your mouth. My, <laughs> my, I should say, my socks are off, and my feet are in your mouth. That's what makes me turn. Like, I, I, I know. I'm not sure how I feel about the feet in the mouth thing. It feels like, you know, worms trying to, you know, get between not your toes. In my mouth. No, I'm saying like my feet in someone else's mouth. I don't know if I can. Do that. That's Some of I know a lot of folks out but there that don't have feet. feet fetishes and they love. No, but my toes. thing. I don't know. If I, I don't like feet. I don't like feet either. At all. I'm sorry. Don't put your feet I on don't, me. I don't. I don't yuck anybody's yum. At all. I don't. That's what you Yeah, the whole thing personally, I might. For me, I'm not sure if I do this thing. I don't know. I don't know either. What What, what do y'all think? Let's, Comment let, below. Let's let us just, know what you think. Let us make this below. a question. Comment below, below and let us know what you think. It's going to say, you know, right uh, below here, Café con Sexo. Tweet us or write us on Facebook. Should you keep your socks on or you keep your socks off? Okay? 
okay? All right, problem number three that happens in the winter time that makes you not want to have sex. Christmas dinner. Uh -huh. Oh, I was Christ. just gonna say all the fucking food. Winter weight gain snaps your sex drive. Studies have shown that the more weight you gain, the less sexually adventurous that you want to become. I knew I was gonna say that. I knew I was gonna say that. Like, in the winter time and during the holidays, I do get my winter weight, and it's like five or ten pounds, and it makes me feel less sexy, which means I want to take off my clothes. Wait a minute. Way less. Wait, 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 wait. I'm stuck on you. Five and ten pounds? I gained five or ten pounds in the, in the winter time. I oh, I almost like said it. I almost said it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Please, you was no, about I'm... as big as my pinky. Shut up. I think winter weight is sexy. I do not want a toothpick. I bet a toothpick. I bet. We're going to just summarize this. Um, bones are for dogs. Men like women with meat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I tend to like my women with some meat on their bones as well. So, I don't know. But I guess what they're saying, though, is is the amount of junk that we're eating. So, like, turkey makes us sleepy. It depends the type of food. Because here it says, to boost your levels of sex and happiness, hormones with a meat feast pizza. So, mm. the more meat that you eat, uh, you'll tend to want to... Tend to want to have a little more. And then scientists also found that serotonin is manufactured from protein-rich foods and its release is triggered by carbohydrates. So... Wait, the more meat? What Did they say it what? specify what type of meat? It didn't specify. It's just protein-rich foods. More serotonin is... <laughs> protein-rich protein. foods. Protein-rich um, protein wow. wow. For um, those wow. who uh, get into that. They get into that. They're, you know, th some of those protein shakes. You want to keep on that. And scientists from the University of Florence reported that women who drank wine with their meals had higher sex drives and reported stronger orgasms. You get it? Wait, 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 wait. Wine makes you horny. Wait. I just I drink just, alcohol. They just, wine makes you they, horny. They, they don't just, red wine. They just contradicted them. Themselves they because did. they did. They said don't drink, but yet they say drink. What the fuck is it? I you know. Excuse me. I think it's wine maybe. Wine. Not yeah. versus, liquor. versus like liquor, hard, hard, hard liquor. liquor. Beer, beer is something that it makes you feel full because of all yeah. the the yeast, the yeast yeah. in it. It makes you yeah. feel full. You want to sleep. Yeah. You, that is yeah. it's weird because in the summertime I tend to I find myself drinking white wine, chilled, chilled white wine, like mm -hmm. dessert wines. And in the wintertime, it's more of a red, like cozy, like... Red I'm sorry, I'm a wine. Moscato person all year round. Wine makes me feel sexy, period. I don't like cold so. wine in the wintertime um, too much. You can, you can go to her Facebook page and see how sexy she feels. Oh, God. Hey. How are you doing? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, if you catch her on the right night, she's very sexy. Apparently, too, you know, you hear about, like, chocolates, like, chocolates being oh. an aphrodisiac sometimes. <laughs> According to this study done at St. Vincent's University Hospital in Dublin, um, found that, in reality, eating a sugary snack can temporarily lower your testosterone levels, which can snap your sex drive, whether male or female. Both men and women have testosterone levels, and apparently eating sugary snacks will snap it and make it feel... Really? Oh, so like I strawberry, find, chocolate I find, strawberry? I find myself popping um, 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 Hershey Kisses. When, uh. when I'm extreme, like around now, if you go into my desk, you'll see Hershey Kisses on the top of my little desk. Mm -hmm. Because I'm not getting sex now. Because it's the winter time and <laughs> his sex time. drive is down, my sex drive is down, work is extremely hard, reports is due. All these factors in. The, the wintertime stresses, Thanksgiving holidays, shopping, all of that. Mm -hmm. Stress. Stress is a big thing. Stress will also affect your libido. I do know this for sure. So watch your stress. Are you doing things that are relieving stress as well? Wintertime sex. Okay, so those were some of the problems that happened, some of the solutions that we came up with. What is, folks, ideal or fantasy? It could be real or it could be fantasy. Sexy time during the winter. What does that look like? A fantasy, a sexual fantasy. It could be fantasy or it could be real. Chacho, um, I don't know. Maybe having sex in the middle of a snowstorm inside of a giant suburban. Oh my god, maybe a suburban like a car. Yeah, like a big ass jeep. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, or a nice. truck, or the back of a FedEx truck. <gasps> a oh back of a FedEx. Yes. truck. Yes. to open up all them gifts and packages. Woo! Here. Yeah, because the UPS guy that delivers here, that one. Mm -mm. Honey, he could have delivered oh, okay. his package no, no, and the package. The too. FedEx driver that delivers here, honey, could get it. Well, and so, I, I like fantasy. Um, 
for sex in the winter is at a resort mm. or, yeah, at a, a nice resort with snow around and you're in your jacuzzi. You ever see the, the movies where they're having that hot, passionate sex and the hot jacuzzi with the bottle of wine? And, right next to it, Yeah, and yes. it's just y'all two and it's just the steam and then you look around and it's all snow. It's, that would be nice. Yes, I, oh I, think I, I think I like that and also no. I oh. always used to like the 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 scenes and movies that I would see where they would have like sex by the fireplace oh, and like yes. a cabin and the snow is no like man outside. or no man uh, back I'm just scared when I get out that jacuzzi in a snowstorm he said here my body will be frozen man, <laughs> I mean it's gonna, it's gonna no doubt it's gonna be cold <laughs> but in that moment we live in our fantasy. Blast the heat, baby. What about y'all out there? What are your wintertime fantasies or, or realities that you have had? Yes, Go comment ahead and tweet below. Us. Sex comment at this below. point would be a, a reality or a fantasy at this point. Let us know what y'all think. Let us know what y'all think. Right. Cafe Con Sexo, you can find us on Twitter. So that's Cafe, C A F E, Con, C O N, Sexo, S E X O. Twit, tweet us. I was like, go ahead, tweet us. I think the word is tweet. Tweet us. Tweet, tweet. Let us know what your ra- realities are. Also, don't forget our question, which is um, socks. You keep your socks on. You keep them off, and especially in the winter times. I don't know why feet get cold. Like us on Facebook. Pass it around. Like I said, every two weeks we're gonna be doing this. We're gonna have a new topic. We have old faces, new faces come in. Thank y'all so much Those. for coming in. Those. 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 <laughs> In two weeks, we'll see y'all right here Friday mornings with Café Con Sexo. It's Delay. It's your girl, your host, Nikki Lopez. My name is Sanchez. Simo. I'm sorry. I heard Simon. <laughs> Me, I, 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 I heard Simon. I'm Miana. Baby, you summertime. Fine. I let you get on top. I be the underline. I'm trying to get beside your 